Hey guys, so let's talk about this Fox News settlement. $787 million. Obviously, that is a huge amount, and Fox News decided to settle rather than take it to trial because they knew there was a very good likelihood that they would have to shell out even more money than that. And I think even more importantly, they wanted to avoid having their top people, the execs, Rupert Murdoch, and I think even more importantly, their top on-air personalities like Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity and Laura Ingram and all those people, um, they wanted to avoid them having to testify under oath in a public trial. So we get the settlement we got. Now, regardless of what you think about the settlement, um, and I have some opinions about that, I might do another video on it, uh, but let's deal with this question. Is this settlement going to do anything to change Fox News' behavior? Is it going to change anything about the way they lie incessantly, day in and day out to their audience? And the answer to that, unfortunately, is no. And not only no, but hell no. This is going to have absolutely no effect whatsoever. They are going to continue to lie every bit as much, if not more, than they have done in the past. And here's why. They have the audience that they have. And if they want to keep that audience, then they are going to have to continue to give that audience what that audience demands, which is the entire reason they got sued in the first place, right? Fox didn't want to do this stuff. Look, we know from the depositions that they all knew that all these stolen election conspiracy theories and all the specific allegations against Dominion, in this case, were bullshit. They knew it. They admitted it under oath. All of them did. But yet they pushed it anyway. Why? Because the audience demanded it. The conspiracy theories were out there. The lies were out there. And the audience wanted to hear those lies. And if Fox News wasn't going to tell them those lies, they were going to go to Newsmax or OAN or wherever else they were going to hear those lies because that's what they wanted. And that's why Fox News did what they did. That's why they just settled for $787 million. It's because of the audience. Well, the audience hasn't changed. Nothing about this settlement is going to change the audience and what they demand. So what is Fox to do? Well, I'll tell you exactly what Fox is going to do. They're going to continue to do the exact same thing they've been doing with just slight modifications. So they don't, they certainly don't want to get sued again, right? And if they continue to lie the way they have been lying, there's a good chance that they're going to get sued again for defamation. So what do you do if you're Fox News and you want to continue to lie, but not get sued for defamation? Well, all you have to do is avoid making specific allegations uh, against specific people or companies. The problem, the thing that Fox News did wrong that got them sued is that they aired lies about a specific company, in this case, Dominion. They told lies about Dominion specifically. They said Dominion was stealing votes. Dominion stole the election for Trump, and they put on guests that they knew were lying who were saying the same thing. That's what they did wrong. They defamed a specific company. Well, if they had been smart, they could have pushed the lies without defaming Dominion. And that's what they're going to do going forward. So if they, if they had to run this whole stolen election lie over again, what they would do is simply avoid making specific allegations against Dominion specifically, right? So they, would, they could still push their stolen election lies, just don't say anything about Dominion. And they don't have to. They, didn't, they never had to, to, to say specific things about Dominion. They could have just broadly talked about a stolen election, right? And all they'd have to do is when they put on guests who are going to lie about the stolen election, like Sidney Powell... Before they put her on air, they just say, look, say whatever you want, just don't name Dominion specifically. Okay? Talk about 
you know, um, voting machine companies, generally speaking, and stolen election, generally speaking, and just talk about they and the deep state and all that stuff. That that's that would have done it. That's all they needed to do. And they could have talked about the stolen election day in and day out without actually defaming anyone and subjecting themselves to a one point six billion dollar lawsuit, which they settled for, you know, seven hundred eighty seven million. So that's what they should have done if they wanted to push their lies without getting sued. And that's what they will do going forward. They will continue to lie. They just won't name the people they're lying about. That's it. That's the key. All you got to do is just not name the people you're lying about and then continue to lie about them. And the audience will know exactly who they're talking about. They don't have to name them specifically. If they had said voting machine companies... Uh, had had rigged the election. They would have known who they were talking about. And the, Fo- and the Fox News audience doesn't care about exactly who it was anyway. They don't demand specifics like that. So if they just said, yeah, the voting machine companies rigged the election, that's good enough for them. They don't need to know what voting machine companies and or, or demand to, to see proof that they rigged the election. They don't care at all. Just say they rigged the election. That's good enough for the Trump cult and the Fox News audience. All you got to do is just not name them specifically and and you'll you'll stay clear of being sued. And that's what Fox News is going to do. So I'm sorry to tell you, but this is not going to change anything. Fox News will continue to lie. They will continue to push conspiracy theories. They will continue to do everything they can to undermine this republic. They're just going to do it a little bit more smartly. All right? They will take this this whole ugly incident for them and they will learn from it. And they will just be a little bit smarter about how they push their lies and conspiracy theories. And as long as they don't name people specifically, then they they can't be sued for defamation because they didn't say anything about them. We're just talking generally. I didn't say anything about you, Dominion. I didn't say anything about you specifically. I'm just talking generally. Voting machine companies stole the election. I didn't say you did. So that's how they'll get away with it. Um, and they have to. They have to push these lies or the audience will leave. Now, eh, I'll save that for another day. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll talk to you again soon.